Buying a car is an exciting but at times daunting endeavor, especially for the first-time car buyer. I am here today with Brian Moody from autotrader.com to help us sort out what we need to know before we make a car purchase. Welcome, Brian. Thank you for having me. For the first-time car buyer, it is a lot of work trying to sort things through. But what type of car are the most first-time buyers purchasing? Well, we're finding that a lot of younger buyers are actually tending toward coupes and sedans rather than SUVs. The SUVs and crossover vehicles, and we have one here, uh, are very popular and for good reason. They offer lots of great features if you go off-road or you have, uh, say, you like a mountain bike, that kind of thing. Those are perfect for that. But if you don't do those things and don't live where it's, uh, say, inclement weather all the time, a sedan is really the way to go because they're not going to cost you as much over the long term. And they're also fun to drive. There's cars like the Kia Optima, for example, that's fuel efficient engine because it's turbocharged, so it also has power, sunroof, leather interior, lots of cool connected features. This is one of my favorite things. Wireless charging, that's a good one. I like that. You have to have a certain phone to do that. But also Apple CarPlay is a good feature. I love having Apple CarPlay in the car. It makes using the phone so much safer and so much more seamless. It's not perfect, but it is a good feature to have. And you can get all those features by just getting a sedan. You don't have to get a big expensive SUV just to get some of the cooler features, even when it comes to utility and connectivity. Sounds like there's a lot of neat features that are out there for the for the cars. What is the most important thing to keep in mind when researching a car to purchase? You know, I think the most important thing to keep in mind is your budget, and you'd figure out what you want to spend for a car, what you can afford, but take all of your expenses into account, your entertainment, meals, your housing. Then when you have all that laid out, you can figure out what kind of car you should be getting and don't buy a car based on only the monthly payment. You want to know things like the down payment, the price of the car, the interest, all of those things should work together to inform you about what's the best car for you. If you only go by monthly payment, well then you could afford lots of different things. You could get a Ferrari for $200 a month and pay for 30 years, but you don't want to do that. You want to pay the shortest period of time as possible with the lowest interest and the lowest down payment unless you're okay with saving up some cash and then putting that big chunk down ahead of time. So take into consideration your budget and how you're going to use the car. Budget seems to be a dreaded word to many people. When I'm looking at the budget, beyond just that monthly payment, are there factors that I need to consider and what that car is going to cost? Yes, and I think that's a great question because most people consider only the purchase price of the car. All the things that we've already talked about, the interest rate and the down payment, those are all important things, but also consider things like fuel economy. The truth is SUVs just get worse fuel economy than cars like coupes and sedans that are smaller and sit lower to the road. That's a long-term cost you're going to incur, and it's going to keep coming no matter what gas prices do. Also, some trucks and SUVs have more off-road or four-wheel drive equipment. That can be more expensive to maintain and also adds weight to the car. So really consider your use and your budget as the first two things. And we think if you're really looking to save money and spend your money smartly, you'll end up in a sedan rather than like a big popular SUV. How is it that we can buy a car, you know, especially for a first-time car buyer, but for anybody? We want a car that is cool, that's practical, fits our budget. We're not getting it over our head, so where can we find something like that? I think there's a great place you can find that, as I think people should be looking at certified pre-owned cars. And the reason for that is that you're going to get, it's a used car, so it's usually between one and five years old. So the price is lower than a new car, but you get a manufacturer-backed warranty. Each manufacturer has a different warranty program, but you're going to get the manufacturer of that car standing behind it for a lower price. That way, you save money over a long term, not just a, in the beginning, so you're saving twice in that way. I like saving twice. That's a good idea. Well, Brian, there is so much to know. Where can we go for more information? For more information, there's lots of great internet websites. There's lots of pricing, reviews. We say go to autotrader.com. They have reviews, photos, and videos. Plus, you can shop for cars right there all in one place. But honestly, there's many, many sites that you can use to find pricing, reliability, and reviews from actual owners. There's no excuse these days when you're buying a car to not have your research done well before you go down to the dealership. Lots of great free information. And what about safety of cars? Where do we find information on safety? Uh, you know, all of these websites, same with AutoTrader, have uh, safety ratings or reviews right in there. You can go to safercar.gov, which will give you the crash tests of the cars, tell you which cars are safer in a crash. 
You might also want to consider what safety equipment you want to add to your car. Today we have features like autonomous driving features that will brake for you automatically, that will keep you back in your lane, that will warn you when a car is approaching from one side. So there's lots of safety features available. You have to decide if it's worth the money to you or if you want to just buy a car that has all that already baked in. Thank you, Brian. You know, this is good information not only for the first-time car buyer, but for everyone that might be looking for sure. a new set of wheels. Thank great. you. Have Thank a great you. day. You too.